What is up guys, Dan from the Zambad YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be going over a one play score to the tight end against every single coverage shell in Madden 21. But before we get to the video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys wanna take your game to the next level in Madden 21, check out my strategy site, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our vault update, we take a look at the meta or the most effective tactics available used by the pros on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online head-to-head -head gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active. These are fully fledged out schemes with personnel groups, audibles, ability suggestions, and your situational play calls. That way you have an entire game plan if the vault updates aren't for you. Everything on the website, $9.95 per month will unlock access to the entire website. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get into today's video. We're gonna be taking a look at a one play score against any zone coverage in Madden 21. And most importantly, this is going to be to the tight end. If you guys followed me last year, this is actually a play that was my favorite play bar none in Madden 20. And it's out of the single back wing tight U. Now you're probably asking what playbooks have this formation. This is in the Bills, Jaguars, Panthers, which is a very popular competitive playbook this year. The Raiders, which is a very popular playbook for the trips. The Saints, which is still good. And the Washington football team offense, which is actually one of the game plans on my website. This is probably still my favorite playbook in Madden 21. I think that it's a playbook that gives you a lot of different looks. Um, I did a full game plan out of the bunch early in the year. I do think pound for pound, this is the best bunch in the entire game. Uh, it's got the play clear out flanker in, which is probably my favorite overall play in Madden 21. And I build the entire scheme around that play. So head over to Gridiron Game Plans if you guys want this game plan. It's included on the website with your membership. But we're going to go ahead and break down how to beat any covered shell out of the single back wing tight U here. With this tip, you're going to want your best tight end possible, preferably some speed. So if you guys play Ultimate Team, go get yourself Waller, Chris, Cru uh, Chris Cooley, any of those fast tight ends that you can get on the field. Um, if there is an out of position item that comes in during the Christmas promo later on this month, that's a great candidate to put in this spot. Um, ultimately, you want speed at this spot because you're gonna want this to beat zone coverage over the top. Let's go ahead and start off with the hardest to beat of all the zone shells, which is cover two. Cover two is really, really tough to beat because these deep half zones typically don't suck down. That is unless you know how to cause them to suck down. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to show you how to basically bomb this coverage. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you don't have a receiver running a vertical route on the short side of the field. So you're gonna want this deep skinny post to this tight end on the wide side of the field pre-snap. Uh, again, this is a play that I ran a lot last year. This was my favorite play in the game uh, last year. So what I would actually do is if you have tight end apprentices, you could probably put this tight end right here with tight end apprentice. You can put them on a corner route. But the really, really good thing about this year's game is that this deep out route is one of the better routes in the game for beating man coverage. There's a lot of opportunity to low ball this route. So it's not necessarily a bad route to use because it's, um, you know, it's a little bit deeper than a, a traditional out route that you might say smart route. You see right here, if you smart route, it only goes to 10 yards. But if you run this play stock, that route is about 13, 14 yards or so. So it's a decent route if you want to go ahead and use it stock uh, in this play if you don't have a tight end apprentice. But again, I would use a tight end corner route and then kind of use a drag from the backside receiver to play high low on the wide side uh, sideline. Now with this play, you could use the play action fake if you wish. You could also put the running back on a route as long as it's to the wide side of the field. Again, you can't have any route running vertically on the short side of the field. You also cannot have any route running to the short side of the field, meaning no drag from Seals Jones to the short side of the field or no swing route from the running back to the short side of the field. So those are the two things first and foremost that you have to have in the back of your mind when you run this play uh, to beat cover two. So let's go ahead and show you what this looks like. This would be my preferred setup against cover two if you have no apprentices whatsoever. Now, the most important part of this is your motion snap. When you motion snap, you're going to notice that if you let him set, this will not work. So if I let him set and I snap this football, chances are this is not gonna work. You see, I'm gonna try to roll out 
and that safety doesn't end up biting down. And the reason for that is grid theory. Um, good shout out to my good friend, Ant Cap. Um, you know, this is something that when we work together for a long time, uh, we, we talked about this in all of our offense. The reason this doesn't work is because of the grid. What ends up happening with this play is that Travis Kelsey gets one jammed to the inside because he was set. And two, because he gets jammed to the inside, that pushes his vertical route inside enough that this safety is aware that it is a threat as it breaks over the middle of the field, which is a problem. Now, if we go back to that same motion snap and we use this same route combination, but I snap it before he's set, not only will he be unbumpable, but he stumbles to the outside of the numbers, which allows me to set up this throw all the way over the top. Now, right there, I held onto the ball way too long to kind of show it to you. I wanted to show you how that safety bites down. So um, we'll go ahead and run this again, and I'm gonna let this throw rip a lot sooner here on this repetition. So you're gonna see here, we kind of let him stumble out into the route, and then you're going to roll out, watch this safety bite down, and then you're gonna throw this ball all the way over the top. And you see right here just how crucial it is to have uh, you know, tight end speed. Obviously right now, Kelsey, he's pretty fast for regs. You know, he's gonna be able to, to win over the top. Regs is gonna have a little bit fewer and further between in terms of tight ends that are gonna be able to beat cover two over the top. But if you guys run a mutt lineup, you're gonna be able to get Darren Waller. You're gonna be able to get Chris Cooley. This is literally the easiest throw in the world in mutt. In CFM, you're gonna be able to convert wide receivers to tight end or just develop tight ends and focus on their speed and their athleticism or draft for that position. But you can see that very, very consistently, this is a throw that you're gonna be able to rip over the top. Now, if I'm running any of the playbooks that I mentioned at the start, the Bills, the, the Raiders, the, you know, the Carolina Panthers, this is something that I would consider possibly audibling into. So what do I mean about that? Like, for instance, you know, there's a lot of players out there that tend to slip in extra tight ends into their formation. So let's say that we are in the Carolina Panthers playbook, which we aren't, we're in the, the Washington book, which again, you can find the entire breakdown on gridiron game plans. But what we know about this is that in this year's game, you have the ability to audible into formations with the personnel that you put on the field. So with the bunch being a three wide receiver, one tight end, one running back set, what we can actually do is sub in extra tight ends. So what I would do here is I would get Kelsey out of the game. I'd put Seals Jones in the regular tight end spot. I'd probably put uh, a different tight end on the field here, Yelder. And then you would probably go with uh, Kelsey. And, you know, we'll have to kind of show how to scheme this together. There's a chance that Kelsey might not go to the spot that we want. But because now we have three tight ends in the bunch, one receiver and one running back, this is going to allow you to audible into the wing tight you so you'll want to set this play as an audible so if you're a player that likes to run bunch for instance what you would do is you would have this you know personnel grouping ready to roll you break the huddle and then you audible into this play it, and you see right here that travis kelsey goes to that spot now you're in this you go to this setup so if you're thinking about this from a milking a clock out scenario you could maybe bait your opponent into a certain defense you know whether it's a cover one or a cover zero with spied safeties uh, and, you know, a lot of players will do this. Will they, will they basically come out in bunch and they'll have a running first group on the field that they audible down into trying to get you to quickly audible and set up run defense. And then they quick snap something that beats the zone coverage or the main coverage setup that you have for run defense. This is the same principle. You audible down into this and you could go ahead and motion snap Kelsey to the outside um, and, and you're good to go from there. So you can kind of see here how you would you would do this. You audible down snap the football and then you're going to basically roll out now i want you guys to notice something that i just showed you what i just showed you was a tip within a tip you guys know how bunch doesn't allow you to motion snap to the outside on some sets now uh, especially verticals it won't let you motion snap this wheel it makes you if you want to motion snap the wheel in bunch you basically have to motion it out motion it back in and then motion it out again uh, and that'll work in game, but it doesn't work here in practice mode, as you see. For some reason or another, when you audible down into this out of bunch, you're noticing that this motion is a little bit tougher. So for those of you that experience that, that's probably the issue. You may want to audible into this formation out of a different set that you guys like to run. Um, you see right here, that worked just fine. That time he, he motion snapped clean. And again, it's basically the same deal. I mean, you can, you can tell how you're able to rip this throw all the way over the top for the one play score. 
uh, against cover two. But this is how I would work this into your scheme. So for those of you out there that are like, Zan, I'm never gonna run wing tight U. That doesn't mean you can't add this to your offense. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. So let's go ahead and go back into the wing tight U and let's talk about the other, uh, the other coverage shells that you guys can focus on beating with this. So again, wing tight U and the play that we're running is known as PA dive. Let's go ahead and move on to cover four. Go into cover four here, cover four drop. This was a coverage that I routinely was able to beat last year. And you know, you're gonna face a lot of press. So we'll go ahead and press our coverage. And with the cover four drop show two, um, I typically would just go ahead and leave the dig to Yelder. Because if you think about it, this is a pin concept. You have an in route and a post route. So post P in, in, so it's a pin concept. Uh, you could probably go with a tight end delay fade to Seals Jones. And you're gonna do the same thing, the same motion snap. Motion into the outside, snap the football and let this in route pull down the zones and you're gonna let Kelsey work all the way over the top for that one play score. Now, right there, I know what you're saying. You're probably like, well, hey, that, uh, that you know, that quarter bit back and you have bazooka active. If you want against cover four, you're positive it's cover four, you could also delay fade Yelder. And when this situation happens, you're gonna be using the option in route from Tyreek Hill to pull that zone. So you're gonna see here, at the same type of drill, if I were to play quarters, or I'm sorry, press uh, cover four, not quarters match, you would go ahead and notice that Tyree Kill on his in route will do the same drill. So watch him run the in cut. I'm gonna go ahead and roll out. You see how it causes that safety to squat and then you could throw that ball all the way over the top. So the, the in route to the receiver against cover four, if you know it's there, is the better option. The problem is that sometimes there are coverages because this is an option route where if you guess cover four incorrectly and it's something else, he might run the curl rather than that deep in route. But that in route is unreal. It's really, really, really good. Um, you know, here's an example of Tampa two. Here's the problem with that. Like if you guess cover four and it's Tampa two, obviously you're in a situation where now all of a sudden you've got that rule at the start of the video broken where you can't have a route vertically on the, the short side of the field. So that, that deep half is not gonna bite down because of the fact that Tyreek is running so deep. However, if you do guess wrong against cover two, as we took a sack right there, if you do guess wrong against cover two, there's still, there's still the option to throw the ball to the deep end cut. You're gonna see here that the mid read zone should open up to the right. You're gonna have Tyreek, uh, I'm trying to hold on to the ball. You see how Tyreek runs that end cut along the back line. So, you know, you're still gonna be able to, you, you know, throw that ball to Tyreek if you're wrong. I'm just saying that there are scenarios in which if you guess cover four wrong and it's cover two, you're not gonna have the one play score over the top. So again, I like to go just in general with more of an approach where, you know, if you can keep the routes low, even against cover four, there's still that off chance that you might be able to throw the, the one play score over the top. Here's cover four with a, you know, motion snap. You see right here that that, that safety bites down. He does recover a little bit later, but um, you know, you could still run that same route combination that you ran against cover two to beat cover four as well. So those are cover two and cover four, pretty easy to beat those for one play scores. Again, tight end speed and throwing power for your quarterback is paramount. Notice that also Mahomes doesn't have uh, any velocity abilities such as gunslinger such as set feet lead uh none of those abilities are active um so if you have those abilities it's going to make this throw even easier for you now let's go ahead and show cover three cover three is the probably the most wonky of the group because there's a lot of variables in play um the first thing is sometimes you just don't know if they're deep halfing their their corner um you know obviously if they they take that outside corner on the left and deep half him he's going to get back on this um so that's kind of the first thing that i want to talk about um, I want to go ahead and flip this play so that way you got the safety in center field. So here we go. You know, you're going to face a lot of cover threes that are going to look something like this, right? We're going to have this player in center field. The oldest one play score route formula in the game is the skinny post streak combo with some sort of pull route on the sideline. This year, in my opinion, it's the out route. Uh, you could try the short out route. Sometimes that'll work. Sometimes the smart out route is better. We'll start off with the start out of uh, the smart out route, but I like to smart route down my skinny post. And the reason for that is I want that route breaking underneath the streak to Seals Jones. And the reason for that is you want that route to get out and pull the center fielder, which is Winfield back this direction. You want him pulling this direction while uh, the post to Kelsey is breaking underneath and over the top 
of this corner, which you're hoping is gonna be biting down on the out route. So um, we'll go ahead and kind of show you here. Again, the pull route might differ uh, for some, some players. Um, there are different pull routes in the game. Comeback routes, smart routed, used to be really, really good. They're not as good this year. But here's the cover three formula. Use that out route. And you see right there that he was having none of it. So again, you're gonna have to kind of fiddle around with what you wanna use against cover three. Like I said, it's far and away the least consistent of the group in terms of you know beating this for a one play score so let's go ahead and again we'll flip this here we'll play uh we'll play press coverage and maybe this time we go with a short out route go ahead and use the delay fade you could go ahead and put uh travis kelsey on the smart route if you're noticing that sometimes this corner on the outside is biting back you could go ahead and leave the deeper skinny post to kelsey because that is going to allow him to break over the top of that grid and maybe cause that player to bite down a little bit more. Um, but you see here, here's the short out route. And again, you see that that skinny post, like there's, you see that he's having none of it. So obviously right here, you you have a little bit more of an issue with cover three. Um, a lot of times players just bite back. One of the best routes in the game for causing a outside third to bite back is the post corner route, which is found in Hot Route Master and also in the outside apprentice. Um, obviously we don't have that here. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you one more route that people like to use, which is the comeback route. Again, this could be a little bit more challenging. This is, a, this is a tougher pull. You just see here how this works. It, it, it's, a, it's a little bit less consistent. One thing you can do with this route combo is obviously playmaker that player upfield, um, and you know, find the open turf, especially if that guy is peeling back. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could definitely tell how this is, this is a little bit tougher to beat over the top for the one play score. Um, again, that post corner is, is absolutely money in my opinion. Uh, and I'll try to find a post corner to show you here in this video. Um, that way, if you guys want to run this, you can, a lot of people have hot route master anyways. So that's something that you might be able to you know, be able to use. So, um, go ahead and see here. Let me use a, a shorter out route. Yeah, you just see that Murphy bunting is having none of it. So um, yeah, I mean, you can basically tell that this is a lot tougher to beat without that that post corner. So let's go ahead and show you a post corner if I can find one here to round out this video. Go ahead and break this down here. So try to find an example of one here. don't think I've actually got one here to show you. And if I don't, what I will end up doing is I will post a link in the description of an example. I'll just post a, an unlisted video with a hot route master uh, showing that route combo for you guys that are interested. And you guys can click that link if you want to see it. But um, yeah, it doesn't appear to me that we have a post corner that's sticking out to me. So I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to do a separate video with the hot route master um, or just a wide receiver apprentice out there. And I'll throw that throw over the top of cover three just to kind of illustrate that for you with the post corner route. So that is today's video, guys. Uh, appreciate everybody watching this video. If you guys like the video, make sure you get you guys give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. Again, guys, head over to gridirongameplans.gg. One price, $9.95, unlocks the entire website. You guys get weekly updates, get all the game plans on the website. Hopefully, I'll see you guys over there. If not, we'll get, see you guys in the next video upload here on the channel. Until then, this is Ann. Get the lab in. Good luck.